Hi guys, it's Lizzie from the Academy team and with the start of Euro 2021, I thought I'd share our top five tips for sports photography. If you're wanting to photograph a particular sport, let's say for example football, then it's always good to have an understanding of how the game works. The better you know the game, the better your photos will be. And this will just be because you'll know where to position yourself to get the best results. This is also where Google could become your best friend. Giving way for inspiration on the styles and types of photography and angles that work best for that sport. If freezing the action is the shot you want, then you're gonna to need to use a fast shutter speed. Something around 5 hundredths of a second or faster should be enough to freeze that motion. Now, this is trial and error, so you may find yourself having to play around with a couple of shutter speeds before you find the one that works for you. The flexibility of shots you'll capture with a telephoto lens will benefit you massively. So you wanna be aiming for something that goes up to at least 200 mil. So maybe a 55 to 200 or a 70 to 300, kind of the standard telephoto range. The reason for using a zoom lens will allow you to zoom in or isolate your subject without the need to actually get that close. To ensure that your camera is going to be able to keep up with the action and focus on it, you want to switch to continuous autofocus or subject tracking. Once you've done this, also pop yourself onto burst mode to increase the chance of you getting that key shot. Take lots and lots of photos. In my opinion, it's better to have too many than too little, especially if, for example, you are trying to capture that winning goal in a penalty shootout. Once you've got your subject locked on in focus, hold your finger down on that shutter and snap away. These are our top five tips to get you started in sports photography. And as you develop your skills and confidence, you'll work out which settings and what composition techniques are best for you. I hope you found these tips useful. If you have, please give us a like and don't forget to hit subscribe and smash that bell icon so you can stay up to date on all of our latest photographic tips and tricks videos. If you're after some more personal advice, then head on over to jessops.com and click on our courses tab. That will take you through to our academy page where we offer one-to-one -one tuition, group courses and workshops and some amazing experience days. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.